Hey, uh, welcome. Welcome to another mini webinar. And I've been crazy. I don't know about you guys, but it has been crazy. It's a fantastic peak season. Everybody seems to be doing very, very well. Maybe not proportionally, uh, percentage wise increase like we were getting last year after coming out of COVID 2021 was off the charts. But this year is looking really good. Um, everybody is is doing well but there's one thing i want to talk about and i'm going to probably talk about it several times and that is there's going to be more of these little mini webinars on eft's because as we're in the middle of peak season now i'm seeing some things with eft's that are some good things that can help you and i'm also seeing some things that i think you want to correct or you want to rethink them uh, over because i'm seeing things that maybe don't work as well and one thing i want to talk about today is an easy on easy off program uh, when I'm doing EFT pricings, and I've done, in the last 90 days, I've done almost 70 EFT pricings. I work six and a half days a week. It's it's crazy, much to my wife's chagrin, I, I, but I love what I'm doing. So, But easy on, easy off is one of those options that sometimes people uh, want to put into their pricing. Sometimes they put it in without having a real EFT program. They just use easy on, easy off. So let me just describe what I'm talking about here. Maybe that'll help. Okay, so uh, easy on, easy off. Uh, and let's see if yes. Okay, should you sell EFTs on an easy on, easy off basis? The advantages and disadvantages, and we're gonna define easy on, easy off. And that's me, the salon doctor, which pretty soon, by the way, our URL is gonna change. Not not for a couple months, but it's going to be YourSalonDoctor.com. Anyway, so let's define an e, 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 o, e. There's a little typo there. It's supposed to be easy on, easy off. This is, the last should be an F. It should be another O. Or a flex program. And that's what some people do on their pricing. They call it a flex. So flex means that you can sign up anytime for an EFT type of a membership. But at, of course, at a higher cost per 10 than a fully committed EFT duration. So when I redo people's pricing, if they want to keep a flex in there, which I'm not real crazy about, and I'll explain that in a minute, then I'll show that in a price per 10, a fully committed EFT, either a three or six month duration, will get people cheaper pricing per 10 than it will on the flex. Because the flex is easy on, easy off. It means you can sign up at any time but you can also terminate at any time. So what we see is that people will sign up for this flex if it's offered. So it's a lot of times I try to, most of the time I can, I'm successful convincing people don't have a flex program that's on there while you're trying to sell your EFTs. Because sure enough, some people will sign up for that flex and maybe cancel the next month. And that does not help your business. Um, so it might be good for short-term cash because if you think you have people reluctant to sign up for a fully agreed commitment to an EFT, depending upon, we use a lot of three and six month options. If you feel that they're reluctant to do that and you just want to sell as many people as you can onto an EFT, it'll get you some good short-term cash, but not long-term commitments for tanning or to your cash collections. So I'm not a real advocate of easy on, easy off. Um, easy on, easy off can create 30-day tanners trying to get a cheap month of tanning because they can immediately sign, uh, they can immediately term, terminate after signing up. So let's say that in your pricing, you've got a single tan price, maybe it's a 10 session price, a 30-day um, unlimited, and you've got uh, a flex and then you've got an EFT duration, whether it's three or six or both, whatever. So you've got four or five options. Now, some people, this is what I'm talking about in another um, mini webinar here in about the next few days, is some people don't like to have so many options for the customer. But the options are not as important, how many there are, as the fact that each option shows the tanning getting cheaper by the longer that they commit to. So, uh, Easy on, easy off absolutely kills or can kill the EFT business. When we do studies, and we've done it on, I can't tell you how many retailers we've done it on, how many single salons and chains and whatever, and we look at the Flex program 
And we look at how long people are staying on there. They're usually staying on there at least 50% less than if they commit to a true EFT program. Okay, so easy on, easy off. Should you sell easy EFTs, easy on, easy off? Well, advantages and disadvantages. Why do some salons avoid an effective EFT program to replace it with an easy on, easy off? Well, the reason they do is they avoid EFTs because, quote, my customers don't want to commit to an EFT. Now, I got to tell you, that's horse hockey. All of us, every one of us are on EFTs. We've probably been on EFTs for years now and we'll continue to be on EFTs, whether it's your phone bill. I mean, I, you know, I could go through a litany of things that we're committed to as far as EFTs. EFTs are just a part of life. We know that if we commit to something that's an electronic fund transfer, we're going to get a price that's cheaper or we're going to get other goodies with it. So my customers don't want to commit to EFT baloney. They do. They just need to be sold at. Uh, my employees don't like it because of bad tanner reactions. Well, okay. You're going to have a few tanners that are going to say, I don't like to give up my credit card. But the problem is they don't want to give up their credit card because they don't see the value. When a consumer sees the value on what we're asking them to do, they will gladly give up their credit card. So if your employees don't like it, we'll get to that in a minute. <laughs> because we are in the business of keeping employees productive and happy. But when it comes down to selling EFTs, uh, the EFT and the sales have to take precedent over what keeps employees happy. Okay, I've tried it in the past. I've had them, a few tell me, well, I've tried EFTs in the past, it doesn't work. Well, it doesn't work because you weren't doing it right. If you were doing it right, it works, and it works incredible. But our market is different. Easy on, easy off is popular. It's popular because you're giving tanners an easy way to get on and an easy way to get off. And that doesn't do it. Because if you give them an easy way and they don't, you haven't really sold them on the value of it, it does sometimes create your market as being different. But believe me, no markets are different. We, over the last 30 years, we've um, worked with more than 600 owners. And our network that we collect numbers from among our clients is over 400 salons. We're all, all over the U.S. We're all over, uh, not all over, but in several of the provinces in Canada. And I can tell you, EFTs work and they work quite well. So all of what you see above there is just some excuses. Now, let's go back and get into this again. Okay, why some owners avoid it? They're, they're cop-outs. So my customers don't want to commit to EFTs. What customers will like is value. You have to show them value. Pricing is almost secondary to the value that they're getting. That's why when we set up price programs, we make sure that in an all access level, it has everything that they can go and, and use if you've got spa equipment or whatever. It may be something they're not gonna spend a lot of money on by in of itself, such as red light or hydration station or uh, a, a, a tanning cocoon or whatever. But when you put it in as an all access, it raises up the perspective, excuse me, the perceived uh, retail value and then people buy it they may not use it, but they buy it because it's value. Um, my employees don't like it because of bad tanner reactions. With the right sales folks, now there's <laughs> there's a real key, right? With the right sales folks, and that's another webinar I've got to do because I have to tell you, the, from last October through right now, which is March, I think it's March 22nd, whatever, and we're kind of in the middle of the peak season 2022, I've heard so many things about pricing, marketing, and staffing, and I just haven't had the time because we have, we've got so many clients I'm trying to help and trying to keep up with. Uh, but I have to tell you, there's so many things to talk with everyone to help them. And so when I say the right sales folks, wow, that's a biggie. With the right sales folks and EFT sales incentives, so a client a few weeks ago wanted to give an incentive at five different levels of tanning and a three and a six month option. So 10 different possibilities of selling an EFT. And she wanted to give her employees a $5 incentive 
regardless of the level. Well, she's a very nice lady and she's a great client of mine. And I think she quickly saw that that's crazy because why? And then all of a sudden she looked at the EFT she's selling. She's selling the most basic package because why does an employee want to sell anything more? Why do they want to sell something that's more expensive when they're only getting $5 at any level? One that was even crazier is a very good client and another very nice lady. She wasn't giving any incentives for selling EFTs and was wondering why only 20% of her revenues were EFTs. Okay, incentives for employees will sing the full praise of the EFT because you and they are making big bank and the tanner gets cheaper cost per tans while on real EFTs. I've tried it in the past, it doesn't work. Your pricing was wrong, I guarantee you. If your EFTs didn't sell in the past, your pricing is wrong. Your sales staff doesn't know how to sell and your marketing might be in there too. I guarantee you EFTs, particularly if this consultant does it for you, it works. You've got hundreds of people you can talk to that this has worked. Our market's different. Easy on, easy off is popular. Sorry, but those are excuses. Every market is different, but good sales, salesmanship works. So, and if you want to know more about that, you should go on my YouTube channel. Uh, there's one YouTube on there for new salon owners, by the way, that I think has had now 1,300 salon owners look at it. Uh, you, you know, YouTube, you could put a YouTube out there about how to open a jar of pickles and you probably get 5 million views. But in the tanning, in the very smaller tanning industry, we've had over 1,300 people look at the video on being a new salon owner. But if you want something for salesmanship, this is Salon Selling Essentials. And that's gotten a lot of use to it. We do it for all of our clients. After we've got the pricing set up, we get their employees on a go-to webinar like this, and I go through Salon Selling Essentials, and that makes a big difference. And every one of them will tell you that made a big difference for their employees. Not that you don't know how to train your employees, but it might be more on technical day-to-day -day operations or that kind of thing, or uh, specific ingredients in a, in a lotion or uh, particulars about tanning equipment, or whatever. Salon Selling Essentials, I go through how to sell an EFT and how to sell uh, a lotion, but that's another story for another day. Okay, what you're seeing here, here's eight, eight people that uh, we've done business with, their phone numbers, their contacts. Here's, I think, 12 more, because what I'm telling you, you mean you know, 14 more, I guess, whatever. These are people from the past. I've got a whole new list coming out for this year. Um, we haven't been put it together yet. It's like 25 or 30, whatever, with uh, new, some of the older names, but also some new names, and uh, which you'll have contact. You can call them, you can email them, you can uh, text them, whatever, and they'll tell you how this has worked to do uh, your EFT pricing correct. Again, to summarize it, I would not do a flex program, a fully committed EFT, three, six month option. And I've had people say to me, well, that's too many options for my employees. I want to make it simple for them. What I want to make it simple for is for you to be able to pay your bills in third quarter. That's what I think is important simplicity. Your employees just have to learn. If you have the right incentives and they're making some good bank and don't be afraid of paying incentives, pay them great incentives for selling an EFT. It's all found money for you. Remember that we are a top line business. And, you know, we just, I think it's a big thing I have to do a lot of times is just help with the education. I've been in retail for 60, um, my gosh, how many, 60, 60 some years, and ran some of the biggest companies, Fortune 500 companies, including a little one called Target. And you learn that if you've got enormous margin, which we do in this industry, it's a this is incredibly a top line business. Add money to the top line, it takes care of your cost. You know, right now in peak season, don't worry about your payroll. If you think that your payroll is out of whack, then let me know what your payroll percentage is based on your volume. And I can tell you if it's out of whack. Sometimes they see some payroll that's pretty low. I had a, uh, just a client recently 
that still wanted to hire new employees. And it's a lovely lady, just lovely lady, but wanted to pay her new employees the federal minimum wage of seven and a quarter. Wow. Um, and she's a smart lady in every way, but it, it, she's, of course, lots of turnover and uh, no one's selling EFTs. Anyway, so if you're interested in some kind of a makeover, whether it's pricing, EFT design, strategy, marketing, blah, 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 but your first consultation is free. All you got to do is contact, and you see here on the bottom of the screen where my cursor is, want a free consultation, go to www.johnrfar.com. And ladies and gentlemen, I am out. Thank you for listening to me.